Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be doing your love and general reading here for you guys. March 1st to the 15th for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so there is some type of ending here. With the Ten of Swords, it's a pretty nasty ending, okay? There could have been a betrayal of some sort, what have you, backstabbing. But with the Ten of Swords in the reverse, we'll go ahead and grab clarifiers for it later before I start talking some more about it, okay? But there's an ending here. In regards to work, personal, general, and romantic, the regular relationships. We have the Queen of Pentacles, maybe with a Queen of Pentacles person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, they're showing up in the reverse, I'll just tell you that. Um, or this could just simply mean... You know, if you're embodying this Queen of Pentacles energy in the reverse, then you're just not going to invest into something or somebody anymore after some sort of um, betrayal that could have had a that could have happened in some type of way. It's going to be different for all of you guys. Next card we have is the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, in regards to work life and um, money resources, I see for some of you guys, you're not doing too well with your resources. Um, you could have lost your job, you could have quit your job, or something happened where um, you probably had to lend some money to a close family member or a friend. But something to do with resources that is leaving you upside down. Also, health issues. Health issues is definitely what I'm getting here. First to the 15th. Um, some of you guys may need to visit the hospital or just take care of your bodies more. But this is showing up, you know, in the middle of your reading so far. So for some of you, there are some medical, some serious medical um conditions you guys have okay but let's go ahead and clarify the ten of swords here something might leave you guys disabled i have to say that because of the knight of wands coming out right after that then the wands element is all about action getting physical right but it's in the reverse so l let's start off with the ten of swords why is the ten of swords in the reverse you know if this isn't um medical conditions and this is just your self-esteem your self-worth your self-value something or somebody is um making you feel is making you look at yourself differently okay so for the ten of swords we have the six of swords okay and the magician Okay, so then with the Ten of Swords in the reverse, this lets me know that you guys are releasing the swords that were once in your back. They're falling away now, okay? And, you know, with these clarifiers, the Six of Swords following the Magician, you're coming back into balance, and that is very key for you, um, Libra. You rule the... Um, 
or your card, Justice, is number six, which is all about balance, okay? So you're moving on to calmer waters, to brighter days, to happier days. And um, there's something new that you are manifesting. You know, Ten of Swords, Ten, does talk about completion, but also a new beginning here that you are making happen. So... Either you are speaking out about something, some of you guys could be actually moving out of your location, either switching jobs or moving to a new apartment, a new house, getting a new car, just something that you are making plans and following through with, okay? So I feel like there's something major here in regards to your love life and your personal life where you're moving on to better days and you are manifesting uh, better things for you. Okay, so like I said, that could be a new car, new place, what have you. It's like you want to level up, okay? You want to level up. The next card we have is the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So we have the tower, we have the two of cups in the reverse, wow. So something is going to happen here, there's going to be some sort of wake up call here. With the hermit in the reverse, there's going to be some sort of wake up call that gets you out of a period of darkness, about reflection, about thinking and analyzing maybe about a certain relationship or a certain job, what have you. But you're going to come to some sort of decision to not invest in a relationship. Okay? You don't see it as something reliable. You don't see this person as someone who, yeah, who is reliable. Someone who is nurturing. Okay? And, um... You know, you just don't see eye to eye with this person anymore. It could be dealing with the Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. But there is a, there is a fallout. Okay, with these two cards, there is most definitely a fallout in regards to a romantic relationship here. Someone feels like the other person isn't uh, trustworthy or reliable. Okay, they're seeing someone else in a different light. You know, and pertaining to general or personal, it's like um, something here is making you feel like you have to question your worth, okay? Like maybe a boss, maybe a job. You're not as excited about a job like you were before in the beginning, okay? The next card we have is the um, Knight of Wands in the reverse. showing up at the bottom of the deck fierce yes so the two cards to clarify we have the five of wands reverse and the nine of wands in the reverse so I feel like you're not going to hop back into a certain situation because you feel like it's not worth it okay you feel like it's not worth your efforts and you feel like you're going to 
just lose, okay, with the five of wands in the reverse, you feel like, um, yeah, like you're not going to get some sort of victory out of this relationship or um, this job or what have you. So with the nine of wands in the reverse, this lets me know that you are dropping this person. You are dropping this situation. You're not going to stay around, okay? And the nine of wands, um, you know, this is like the wounded warrior. So you've been hurt by whatever this is, whatever's been bugging you really on your mind. Um, you're going to drop it because you don't want the anxiety anymore. You don't want the tension. You don't want the inner conflict. You've been hurt, okay? You don't want it anymore. So you're not going to hop back in. And you're standing in your power and you know you deserve better with the Queen of Wands, okay? You know you deserve better. So let's go ahead and pull out the next set of cards. We have the Six of Wands. Beautiful, yes. We have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're gone, Libra. And we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. You're gone and you're detaching. You're letting go. Okay. Yeah, you're sticking with your beliefs, your morals, your tradition, what you believe in. So Libra, if you would like to purchase the extended reading for only $1, you can do so and there will be a link below that will take you to my website, you know, and I also have other personal readings you can check out as well. But thanks Libra, I'll see you in a bit. Bye.